So to balance this chemical equation, first we're going to figure out how many of each type of atom we have on each side. So I'd like to draw a line across like this, and then like this. And what I can do now, I have carbons, hydrogens, and oxygens on both sides. So if I count my carbons up on the reactants, I have one. For my hydrogens, I have four, and there are two oxygen atoms. On the product side, I have one carbon, I have two hydrogens, and then I have two oxygens with the carbon dioxide, but I have one oxygen atom with the water. That gives me a total of three oxygen atoms on the product side. So the carbons are balanced. We don't need to do anything with that. Let's take a look at the hydrogens. If I were to put a two right here, that would mean I would have the two times two. That would give me a total of four hydrogens. Now the hydrogens are balanced. The problem is, though, that I still have the two oxygens with the carbon dioxide, but now I have the two times the oxygen. So this becomes two, which means two plus two. I have a total of four oxygens on the product side. I go back to the reactants and I put a two right here. Two times two equals four. And now all of the atoms on each side are balanced. I have the same number of each atom on each side of this equation. When you have these organic combustion reactions, when you have a hydrocarbon and oxygen reacting to form carbon dioxide and water, do the oxygen last. That makes it quite a bit easier. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.